sometimes it turns out that the ground can be a good work stand when you're leveraging with a stuck pedal. That's what we got going on here. Well, on this rig, we're told that that one's really bad. Now, if I took this wrench here, I actually can have good leverage pushing down with the body weight. But to be honest, this one can't use this pedal. It doesn't have an outside wrench flat. It's got some hex sockets in back, and that's where this is gonna come in handy. But this can be a problem, especially with this tech pedal. You don't got many options. Look at that. I can only get it from here to here. That doesn't give me much. And we know it's really stuck. So you know what we're gonna do? Let's get that crank off the bike and put it in a stand. Not the bike, the crank. <laughs> Boy, am I glad Park Tool has repair stands because they can save your back. But notice this one's all the way down. It's just for the crank arm. Let's get this thing off by fixturing it. So we're gonna use the stand attached to the earth as one of our levers. The wrench will be the other. Two levers to get this off. Clamp that in there secure. There we are. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna be able to put the wrench here. Push down, but I wasn't quite thinking, and ow. Yes, I've done that before. So don't be like me. Be like you and think ahead. Now I'm able to free it. But a couple things before we actually do it. I'm gonna talk about direction. We're going to think about direction of turning. This is a pedal. I'm on the drive side. This is a right-hand thread on the right side. I'm going to go counterclockwise. See that motion? Counterclockwise. But the wrench is from the back side of the bolt. The wrench direction is still the same. You are seeing it. Well, now, isn't that turning to the right? Well, the pedal sees it to the left. This is the loosening direction. That's going to be important. That's one thing, orientation. I'm actually going to flip this around. So I'm pushing down, it's that direction this way, to loosen it. But we're gonna use some properties, properties of, of materials. materials. Good thing to know. So we're going to try and actually heat. We're gonna heat this thing up a little bit. It is said, even a hot cup of coffee. Mmm, that's hot. Pour it on there. If you're gonna do that, actually get a rag, pour it on. Let the rag soak onto it to expand it. It's the expansion that we want. Okay, why not some penetrating oil? Let's put some oil on the threads. Well, that should have been done before the fact. When this is on tight, you're dripping something on there. It's dripping around the crank and falling off. It's not going in the threads. They're tight, they're sealed. That's what threads do. So we're gonna count on the expansion. So what we have, that's kind of fun, is a super duper hair dryer called an air gun. Air gun is probably more you need for your hair, but even a hair dryer can help. So we're gonna turn this thing on and let's just check it out first. Not, not flaming my hand, I'm not, no blisters, that's not so bad. That's kind of what we want. There we go. It's aluminum. And if we know our properties of aluminum, it will expand more than the steel. So we're gonna try and give a little bit of loosening here, hurting nothing but just on the aluminum there and we keep it moving. Keep it moving. Now I gotta reverse my direction, right? Oh yeah, we're getting there. You want it hot to the touch. It kind of kind of surprises you when you touch it, uh, but doesn't blister your finger. All right, let's give it a go. The owner did try and do something here. This wrench is not a great fit anymore. So again, we got to think of our tightened direction and our loosened direction from the direction of the bolt. So for me, this downward motion Find me a good wrench flat, there we are. 
downward motion, I'm going to hold the tool in tight to the wrench, the, the wrench tight to the pedal, and we're going to go down. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to have to hold the crank arm. Watch out for those teeth. Oy, oy, oy. Oh boy. oh boy, that's what fixturing can do for us. Don't let the wrench slip, keep it fully engaged. That's good. So the, some heat, the mild heat, warm to the touch so it surprises you. And we are off. And watch out for hands, watch out for these teeth here. Got in a position that we can get leverage on. And now it's out. And I hope the owner doesn't want to put these back on again. Uh, it's only going to get worse. So that's why you keep the wrench fully engaged when we turn it so this doesn't happen. So prevention, the best cure. It's off. It's out. Owner can sell the bike. Everything should be okay. Fixture your parts. Grease the threads going in. And full wrench engagement. You'll have happy endings. Thank you.